was out riding, I bumped into Jennifer and I said, wow, that's a beautiful bike. And I'm going to talk to Jennifer about her bike, which has gold leaf in the decals. It's not your traditional S-Works, but it's pretty lovely. Do you want to just give me a little overview of how it came to be? Yeah, absolutely. This is a Tarmac SL6. I've been riding Tarmacs for many, many years now, but I crashed my last one and found myself lying in hospital with not that much to do and lots of ideas about my new bike. Uh, so I kind of came to came to this pink and gold compilation from those seven days of not having much to much to do with my time. Can we go through the bike? It's you got old school calipers. Yeah, that's right. Um, so rim brake. I'm not a fan of disc brake. Okay. I can't get around it. It's fiddly. I don't like how it's difficult for me to get all of the issues ironed out in a way that I like. Uh -huh. So just in terms of brake rub issues with, you know, hydraulics, and I can't really work on my bike as much as I could with a rim brake setup. So I don't need a huge amount of stopping power. I definitely stop when I need to stop and don't have any complaints about it. And in the wet? Also fine. Okay. Yeah. You probably need, you know, half a second more worth of braking just to clear that thin film of water off the track. But once you've got that gone, it's all good. And it doesn't sing like a disc brake in the wet? Doesn't sing at all. CI2, but not the current generation? That's right. We're upgrading pretty soon, but I'm just waiting for the group set to arrive. Like many people, I'm sure. <laughs> yes. There's some story behind this gold leaf in the fork. Could you just tell me that about yeah. the interior designer? Yeah, that's right. Um, so this bike was painted by someone called Colour Fuel, who's based down in Kirawi. He wanted to put um, he wanted to put fake gold leaf on this bike because it's a lot easier to work with. Real gold leaf, the 24 karat stuff that we've got here, it's very brittle. It's very fragile. It peels and flakes in ways that you can't predict it to, which makes it really hard to work with. So he sent me this message one day and said, can we please use fake stuff? And I said, are you kidding? Mm -hmm. um, part of that was that the, there's a detail that we put inside the fork, which is a Florence Broadhurst print. Florence Broadhurst was a mid-century interior designer here in Australia who was dramatically murdered in her house in Paddington. No one knows how or why or who did it but she left this legacy behind of these incredible kind of romanticised evocative prints, uh, one of which I stole and put on the inside of my bike. Very cool, very cool. Can we talk a little bit about money? Or is yes. that sensitive? How much did that paint job cost? Um, I think at the time it was probably $1,500. Uh, for the paint? For the paint job alone, yeah. Yeah, okay. Uh, he was probably doing me a favour at the time, to be honest. We paid for all of the materials separately, so it might have cost a little bit more once we... Um, once we ordered all of the gold leaf and that kind of stuff. Okay. Well, it's a unique bike. So thanks very much for taking a little bit of time to tell me the story of your bike. Happy to speak with you. Great. But I'm just so happy with it. And it rides nicely? It's just, it's my forever bike. Like, I'll never get rid of this. But you have a Cervelo uh, Caledonia 5. Yeah, that's right. And I rode an F12 for a little while as well, but I sold that. Let's do a little bit of tech. Okay. Can you do a comparison between those? Well, I mean, absolutely. So, the F12 was set up with SRAM Axis. Yeah. Um, an amazing bike, incredibly racy, incredibly aggressive. 
The problem is, is you need to consider my bike selection in the context of the fact that I'm a 50 kilo rider. Uh -huh. So really, really aggressive, racy, stiff bikes don't necessarily work as well for me. I don't feel comfortable on them and I can't really benefit as much from, as much from that rigidity. Yep. On the other side, a lighter bike that's slightly more compliant, a little bit more geared towards that lightweight endurance style. It's just more comfortable for me to ride.